everybody, Rose from Bridgewater Public Library. Thanks for joining me and welcome. So this week, our summer reading program began and the theme is Tales and Tales. Tales and Tales. And this image, the seahorse image, that is my inspiration. So I'm going to try to do a seahorse with a tail. Um, not the greatest drawer, so <clears throat> I have an idea. So we will see if it works out or not. All right, so I hope you join our summer reading. We have prizes again, like we did in the winter. Um, we're using the same app, Beanstack, that um, you track your reading online. All the information's on our website, bridgewaterpubliclibrary.org. And if you go to the kids page, you'll find um, all the information you need. So in adults, adults can do it too, not just kids. So um, all of it's on our website. So I hope you join in and um, happy summer reading. Summer's here. All right, let's get to the table. So the colors I'm using just to get that done is, um, this is, I'm gonna be using phalo blue, Arteza's phalo blue, Amsterdam Prussian blue, um, Amsterdam ultramarine blue, Amsterdam titanium white, I've got silver, uh, silver by Artist Loft, there's a little in here. I've got this baby blue by, I think it's Deco Art, I think, I think it is. And an aqua. Um, I think that's Amsterdam, I don't know. And <clears throat> flooded in white. So, this is what my, t I want to do an outline of a seahorse, but I can't draw. <laughs> but in my previous life, I guess, 20, let's see, my youngest is 24. So 24 years ago, I took a cake decorating class and they taught us this cool technique that if you took an image, you put a piece of wax paper on top of it you outlined it with this gel um, sugar type and then you took your <clears throat> wax paper you flipped it over rubbed your cake that was like white based frosted you'd have an outline of the image and then <clears throat> um, you went in and piped your design and I did all my kids birthday cakes and friends' birthday cakes. So that's my idea. So here's my image of a seahorse. And I have this plastic, I don't know if you can see it. It came actually with some of the canvases. So my thought is I'm gonna place it over the seahorse outline it in pink that I put in a little squeeze bottle, flood my canvas, flip it over, there's my image, and then I'm gonna do swipes. So I just want this part of the seahorse and then I'm gonna do swipes. That's why I'm using the Amsterdam because it's good with the swipes. But I feel like it's gonna take a while, so, and I, ha I have to get this out of my head. <laughs> And I hope it works. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put you, I've got, for swiping, I just got cut up pieces of post cardboard kind of, you know, the flyers that came on the canvas. And that, I'm just gonna swipe with those. And that's, that is the plan. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse and We'll see how long this, if it works. So fingers crossed it works. Okay, hold on.
Okay, so my idea didn't work. <laughs> so I had to freehand it. Uh, so this is, I am, I do like it. Um, I think his tail areas got issues, maybe. But you don't know until you try. I like his face. And I don't want to overwork it. So I'm thinking just the connection where his tail and body is needs something. <laughs> but experimenting is good. Now I know. All right, I'll show it to you when it's dried. Thanks. All right, here it is dried and it's already been varnished. And I, I really like it a lot. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, it will be in the display case at the library at the main circulation desk. And hope you join in with the summer reading for our Tales and Tales. So we will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.